hey hi guys welcome to pcf okay. hi guys okay in our previous video so we we'll, we discussed about the aggregation function and also how to find the second highest salary we discussed but in this today session in this today session we are going to discuss about the so group by group by and having okay what is the difference between having and where class okay so what is the difference between having and where class guys okay so now so if you see this okay if you see this the salary okay so if you want a sum of salary okay if you want a sum of salary for each department wise okay each department wise okay you can write sum of salary okay sum of salary and then you want a department wise right so you can write a department okay department name okay so if you write like this it will give an error why because so you should group okay how many departments are there it 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 and then sales 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 hr hr okay so three three departments are there first you have to group the three departments okay so if you execute like this it will give an error okay so what it is giving error just let me copy this one into uh, this area okay show you i will show you just okay what it is saying tbl department is invalid in the selection list because it is not contained the okay because it is not contained in a either aggregation or the group by okay whatever this the select list is there so that is not uh, okay that that should be either aggregate or else in a group by statement okay in a group by statement then only it will execute guys okay that is the condition when you write a, so when you write aggregation if you write one column that should be comes under group by otherwise it will okay so if you write a group by okay if you write a group by here group by so then this column name okay it will give the department wise sales amount guys okay let me take one execute it okay so this is the so for this you can write a name also okay this is the okay salary okay you can salary hr department wise what is the salary and what is the salary for it and what is the total salary for sales okay each department wise we are getting the salary so when we will get okay when you have write so any aggregation in the select statement if you use any column okay then you have to go with the group by case okay so let me show you okay whether we are getting the correct results or not we'll check that okay so let me take this okay copy copy with the header and we'll go with the excel okay we'll see whether we are getting the correct results or not okay let me close this and okay paste it here guys okay the entire table so we'll paste so now this time so we'll take only it okay i'm taking only it sales amount okay so it so this is the okay equal to so where we have the it so this one okay plus so where we have it this one plus again this one it plus again this one okay this is the it sales case okay this is the it sales and again so hr okay what is the total sales for hr okay again so you can go with the year and equal to so wherever we have hr okay hr plus and where is this okay place and where is okay we have none so that means it will not work okay then okay that is the hr sales and then sales department uh, salary okay sorry salary not sales salary okay so sales plus this one yes and then this one okay this one. so this is the answer guys okay let me take the copy into it here Okay, sorry. Okay, we'll execute this one. So we should we should get the same results. Okay. See for IT, we are getting two lakhs twenty thousand. For sales, we are getting ninety. So that is the correct results means. Okay, that means correct results we are getting. Okay. So that way we can go with the group by. Okay. So now if salary greater than okay salary greater than uh, some uh, ninety thousand. Okay. 95000 something like that if you want to get okay which department is getting salary greater than 
eighty five thousand. Okay, something like that. Okay, eighty thousand or eighty five, eighty thousand or one lakh fifty thousand. Okay, which which uh, so you cannot write a where class. Okay, if you write here a where class. Okay, if I go here and if I write a where class here. Okay, where. Okay, salary. Salary greater than one lakh fifty thousand. Okay, one lakh fifty thousand something. I'll if I write like write like this. Okay, it will give an error. Okay, you cannot use a where class. Okay, sum of salary. Sorry, sum of salary greater than. Okay, sum of salary greater than. Okay, you cannot use the sum of salary guys. Okay, you cannot use the sum of salary in where class. Okay, so for that purpose, okay, we have a having. Okay, for this. Aggregation may not appear where class. Okay, when we will go for a where class? Okay, see, an aggregation may not appear in a where class. So unless, sorry, unless it is in a subquery contained having. Okay, okay, contained in a having. Okay, a having class is a perfect example for this case. Okay, so you have to go with the having class. Sorry. Okay, so so then how to find above greater than uh, one uh, one lakh fifty thousand? Then you can take a copy. Okay, so you can so in this situation where when we use the aggregation and the group by so then you can go with the having. Okay, here you can specify the having. Okay, so and then you can so you can get the salary. So which one is so more than one lakh fifty thousand? So for which department we are paying? For IT department we are paying. Okay, so where class we cannot use the in where so with the Aggregations, okay. With aggregations, we cannot filter the where class. Where class to filter the data, detailed data, something suppose like you have like this, okay. So without aggregations, we can go with the where class, okay. When we have the transactional data and detailed data, then you can go with the where class to filter the data. But when we have the aggregations, then that time we'll go for a having to filter the data. After group by, so we should specify the having, okay. So. Then, so you suppose you want to filter something uh, uh, salary where salary is equal twenty thousand. Okay, salary greater than fifty thousand, some something like that. So it's a detailed data. We are not doing any aggregation. So if it is salary greater than fifty thousand, something like that. So you can go and then you can do it. Not a problem. So it will give a. So what are the records we are getting the salary greater than fifty thousand? But when you use the aggregation, we cannot use that. Uh, na. Where class? Okay, aggregations we cannot use in a where class. Aggregations filter can do only having class. Okay. Hope you got it, guys. Okay. So hope you got it. So that is about the group by. Okay. So whatever the column you specify. Okay. Whatever the column. Suppose if uh, so, what are the columns we have? Suppose if you specify one more column like a, a name. Okay. Suppose department comma name. Suppose if you specify the name. So name should be again. Where name should be again that be be in the group by column, okay? That should be group by column, okay? So otherwise it will be three times an error. What happened? Why name is not there? Employee name, okay. Sorry. So name is not there. I think so. So that is EMP name, okay? EMP name. Okay, so you can go with the EMP name. Okay, so I'm, if I execute here, okay, so this will give a right results. Okay, this will give a results. Okay, so but it's a detailed one. Okay, uh, I, so what I'm saying, so when you write something, okay, in the um, uh, select list, you have to add that in the immediately in the. So when you have an aggregation, okay, if you don't write it, okay, it will give an error. Okay, if I don't specify that in a Okay, so that should be in either aggregation. Okay, the select list should be in aggregation, or else it should be in a group by column. Okay, that error you will get. So that is the reason. So that is the thing. Okay, you have to follow this. Okay, whatever the so once you write aggregation, once you write aggregation, the select list, whatever the select list columns are there, that should be in a group by. Okay, otherwise it will give an error. Okay, so hope you understand. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow with the next class case. Okay, thanks.